Welcome to the Batu Caves. Today we're visiting this sacred site for Hindus that's also filled with hundreds of birds, the cutest monkeys, and the most colorful stairs leading up to the caves with rock formations that are around 400 million years old. We didn't only make friends with this cute kid, but also the birds and monkeys that live and thrive at Batu Caves. Let's wander. Massive, yeah. So many birds. <laughs> There's a yeah, whole bunch birds, of birds. birds yeah. Galore. I yeah. don't know what's more popular, the caves or the monkeys and the birds. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the birds just fly. They're everywhere. It just adds to the beautiful ambiance of the temple. Yeah. We have not even gone that far to the point where it's such odd that by all these monkeys and birds, like. We still gotta go ahead. Yeah, and the colorful like uh, temple. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit of a temple that we have back home in, in my city in Fiji, in Nandi. There's a Hindu temple that's super colorful. It's really nice. And it's early morning. Not a lot of people are here. There's probably like 10, 15 people. Yeah. In total, and it's really it's nice. nice. It's, it's very nice. calm. It's very energy. peaceful. Yeah. Very All you hear is. Uh, pigeons and just flapping of wings, that's all. Very, very, very peaceful. The monkeys with the pigeons. Yeah. Oh, they're oh, them. The funniest thing is, everybody, all the pigeons know they got a feeding session coming up pretty soon. Everybody just waiting. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're all waiting. They're all waiting for you. Face Yeah. They're all looking at you. <laughs> they're, they're so so I got this um, bird food for the birds <laughs> and we're going to feed them. Seems like they're always hungry, <laughs> but I think they're ready. I think they're waiting. So let's go feed some birds. We, we, we have an incoming monkey. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't start yet, but okay. Here. It just came to sit on me. Yeah, good. All right, here. Okay. Who's been a trust, trustful birdie today? Nice. Their, their hands are so cute. I know. Yeah. They're so soft. Okay. So. Can, can you give the uh, the people what the story about the, so the, story, the story, of, story was of the apple? The apple belonged to somebody else, <laughs> but they stole it from somebody else. Yeah, the other one stole it from somebody else, yeah. Yeah. and then he brought it. And he was eating it, but then it fell off from his hands, and then this guy just came up out of nowhere yeah. and took the apple, and now and it's now the apple is on him. Yeah. Oh, and then she goes. So much fun with the monkeys. Uh, birds everywhere. Yeah, uh, yeah the, the monkeys are not as um, hostile uh, as they are made out to be. Yeah, I mean, yeah. At least in our experience. Yeah. I, I, I feel like if you have just have a calm energy around them, like they're they're pretty trusting. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Just uh, just no sudden movements or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, it's it's fine. And it seems yeah. like they're actually scared of us. Yeah. It's so weird. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess it's like a defensive mechanism, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Although I don't know if I can say the same for the monkeys on the stairs because uh, they look like they're well they're fighting with each other yeah as far as this beautiful would be beautiful statue yeah. right in front of us mm -hmm. that is Lord Morgan that is the Tamil Hindu uh, god of war it's a deity yeah. 
actually the caves are dedicated to Lord Murugan. To the Lord, yeah. And it seems yeah. to be standing tall, protecting the, cave. the caves. Yeah. yeah. We are getting ready to connect these 272 beautifully colored stairs. We see a lot of people coming in, kind of like touching the bottom of the stairs and then making their way up. Yeah. Usually you're supposed to take your shoes off and walk up, but it is seems, oh, it seems optional uh, because we see a lot of people walking with their shoes all the way up. So I guess you could do that too. I think it's a uh, pilgrimage thing. It is a pilgrimage yeah. site and it's a place of prayer. So be sure that you're respectful, cover your shoulders, your knees. And yeah, just uh, be respectful because people are actually coming here to pray. Just the detail in the sculptures and the, the gods. It's, uh, it's, it's really nice. It's amazing. Water yeah. butter. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, yes, go. Give something else. Oh, they... If you give some soft drink or beer, they'll take it. <laughs> soft drink or beer, they'll uh, take beer. it. Oh, isn't it too early for that? <laughs> our, our guide said, if you give, if you give beer, we'll salute you. He said, <laughs> Oh my goodness, beer at the temple, I don't think so. <laughs> we got one right here. Oh my goodness. Hilarious. Yeah. Uncle tried to give him water. I think he's waiting for some beer. Some beer or a soft drink. Enter the cave. Uh, seems like there's like this type of birds, kind of flying around. Um, I don't think it's bad. I feel like it may be it may, mixed with like actual birds. Yeah, actual birds. So uh, there's actually a bunch of them uh, just flying around. <laughs> it, it, it looks so nice. They're just kind of zipping through the caves. Actually, the entrance of the cave is just, <laughs> it's magnificent. Yeah. It's so incredible to see that um, this is a Hindu temple, but it's all religions with, uh, and races. Yeah. I've seen so many races and I've seen many religions just come through here and visit the temple. So it's just nice to see, you know, everyone uh, kind of, it is a tourist attraction, but it's also nice to be introduced to someone else's religion and learn more about it. Yeah. yeah. So when you enter the cave, actually, you get greeted with the soft drops of water, right? Mm -hmm. The place is kind of wet. Yeah. Um, yeah, so be but, careful when you're walking. Yeah. But these are like really old, around 400 million, million years, years old limestone yeah. cars. And just, uh, you just natural, go to show. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. natural droplets of water from yeah. it. I feel like I'm being blessed. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah, 400 million years old is during the age of the dinosaur. 400 million years. And the fact yeah. that we're standing here we're standing in, in it. the same yeah. space. Yeah. It's such a surreal experience, especially kind of seeing the uh, the rock formations coming down as, as if you know it's just through time it calcified. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, basically it is limestone. So. It just yeah. it does look like um prehistoric. Prehistoric. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. Beautiful. We got monkey shenanigans going on, we got coconuts been dropped and thrown around. Yeah, people have offered them coconuts, which is yeah. really nice. Yeah. And like, I guess after you like crack it and stuff and offer it to the uh, deities. And then, then the monkeys can have it later, yeah. yeah. And they're like running around everywhere, dropping them from like the top of the, <laughs> yeah. the, top of the rocks and, and, and And they're dropping it from a good height too, yes. so. Yeah, uh, beware of uh, falling coconuts. I guess he'll get you. 
so the Grotto of Temples here is one of the most revered yeah. uh, shrines outside of India. Yeah, so uh, back in the day, a really long time ago, the actual entrance and the cave system was actually used as a shelter by the indigenous people, which were the... Around us. Yeah. This is uh, an incredible experience, just to think that the temples are built within the cave system. And, and how, how big is the cave? Yeah, it's... I, it's ginormous. Yeah. Oh, hello. I'm just amazed by how high this cave is, the, the actual roof of the cave. And they actually have small openings there, so there's a little pocket of light coming through. When you come through the cave, yeah. be sure to climb up uh, some more steps. To leading up, yeah. Leading up to this another beautiful space where people are coming to uh, give their offerings and pray, and they're coming for their pilgrimage as well. Uh, but this is one of the most beautiful uh, cave openings, openings that we've ever seen. Yeah. And the yeah. sun is shining now, yeah. and uh, the treetops is being lit up by the sun, and it just sun. looks incredible. Yeah. And we have like tons of monkeys just kind of <laughs> climbing the the limestone yeah. here, and it just looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. If you guys are gonna come up to the caves, you have to make that stair. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they climb up the additional stairs because you get to see the opening. Yeah. A midday break at Ruma Pite Cafe. It is here at uh, Taman Tasik Titiwangsa, uh, nearby area. We are going to visit that part, but we're going to take a quick break. Cool. This place has got the aesthetic. Yeah, it's got. It's like an aesthetic cafe. Yeah. We've seen a lot of these in the Ari neighborhood in Bangkok. And I feel like I've been transported back to Bangkok. But it's here in Kuala Lumpur in the Taman Titiwansa area. And come here. Very nice. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah. We're going to give you a quick tour after. Wow, yeah. Let's get something to eat. I wanted to wash my hands. I had a hard time locating a restroom, <laughs> but apparently, oops, it's this cupboard here that turned into a green restroom with a beautiful palm leaves decor inside. It's very nice. So we got two drinks. The first one here is called the Ruma Tempayan, and it has refreshing health flavors of lemon, lime, lemongrass topped up with authentic syrup and soda. I'm not quite sure what the authentic syrup is, so if you guys do know, please leave it down in the comments below. But my favorite part of this whole drink is this big stalk of lemongrass that's just sitting in here. I do see lemons, uh, uh, slices, I do see cucumber, there's a whole, uh, there's a few mint leaves in here, and yeah, some type of, definitely some type of syrup. Uh, it is a little bit sweet. I wonder if it has honey in here. I'm not sure. But it's very refreshing. Lots of ice. Tastes just a slight bit um, earthy and then minty because of the mint. Uh, but it's really refreshing drink and much needed. 
after our trip from uh, Batu. And the next one we have is the Kalamansi Fizz. It looks super pretty, all green. I actually yeah. really love green drinks, but I've already tried this and it tastes a little bit too salty for my taste, but I think it's just Kalamansi, maybe some sparkling water and yeah, pretty salty. But Wasim loves this, so I think he's gonna have this, yeah, right? Mm. Yeah, um, very, very salty. <laughs> Good luck to you. Cheers. So I think I might have found out why this uh, drink is a little salty. So at the very bottom is actually, um, you know, the Chinese plum, the dried plum. So they just kind of possibly just soaked it in there. So if you guys have ever tried those Chinese dried fruits, um, especially the plum, uh, it's really salty. I feel like it's kind of been marinating in there and th therefore it's kind of released a salty flavor. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, it's really good. I, I, I personally like it. Um, yeah. It's refreshing with the calamansi. Because we're so many sodium for best <laughs> friends. And we actually came to this neighborhood because there is a Kedai Makan along Tasik Tijiwangsa. Which joint, is a... Uh, I mean, a, a, a restaurant, a local restaurant ah. that supposedly has a fruitcake which is pretty native to Malaysia so we'll see. Yeah. Yes, he's been raving about this fruitcake for a week now. So I want to have some fruitcake and sit by the lakeside. Let's see if we can find it. <laughs> thank you right. so much. We're excited to try our first Malay cake. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. Just that's it. Yeah. She reminded me of your mom. <laughs> can you tell the people where it's at? It's actually the last one. Oh, the last stall, yeah. yeah. So this is a Malay fruit cake, and she says this is very kampung. So in the village, this is the fruit cake that they eat. So we're excited to try this by the lake. We have like such a great uh, selection of food stalls. Yeah. Everything looks so yummy in this area, mm -hmm. and I like that they have like set up like tables and chairs outside. Really, it's really super nice. Super shaded too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's really yeah. nice. The the locals just kind of have like blend in, mm -hmm. and yeah, just <laughs> grab your food across the street. And just walk over. Exactly. And the selection looks really good. Like, yeah. everything was really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are going to eat later. Yeah. Uh, but everything, like, there's nasi kampu, there's shawarma, there's kanepo, there's uh, ikan bakar, like the uh, grilled fish and stuff. I mean, the selection is nice. Yeah. It's looking really yummy, yeah. honestly. <laughs> We've had such a relaxing time at this park. This park is super laid back. You don't see a lot of people here, but the few people that we did see are a lot of couples and young girls just kind of having their picnic and just enjoying their time on the benches or just walking around. And they also have like um, uh, bicycle rentals in the corner. There's a whole bunch of bikes that you can rent if you don't want to walk around. And currently I am walking on this beautiful rainbow uh, crossing with some beautiful tube installation on top. I think it just really livens up the park. I really love it so much. It looks so pretty. Just scrolling away. It's a very relaxed vibe in this park. They just have the horses just strolling. Yeah. No, no, no need to enforce anything because everybody's pretty civil. This is civil. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, it's just kind of nice to see them. Yeah, it's really nice. And then I was going to say, there's a fountain there that just keeps flowing yeah. ever since we came. Yeah. So it's been on and it's beautiful with the backdrop of the skyline, the city skyline. It's yeah, just, you, you, you see, you see every, all the towers. All, yeah. all, all the buildings. All the, yeah. yeah, all the buildings. There's like different little sections mm -hmm. where you can kind of have, it's almost like, what do you call like a dock? Uh, I would say like a rest area, but like, yeah, sure. I, yeah. I would, I would or like a balcony out. that's kind of o on top of the lake. Overlooking the yeah. lake, yeah. So you could just kind of come get, yeah. you know, just for like a little bit of privacy, mm -hmm. you can have your little picnic there. Yeah. I saw one couple having yeah. their food yeah. there and it was so cute. Yeah. So they have those spaces and then, you know, just on the grass, mm -hmm. you can lay out on the grass and then um, there's also a section uh, in the back where they have a book. Oh uh, yeah, I, I've I've seen I've seen a couple. Yeah, yeah which which is good to see. Yeah, yeah. So it's really nice that they have a bookshelf full of books yeah. with a really nice big bench, mm -hmm. and it's really nice that you could just come here, grab a book, take in the scenery, 
read a book, relax your mind from just the hustle and bustle of everything, and yeah, yeah, it's a really nice park. It's it's well designed, yeah. I love how peaceful it is. Yeah, yeah, it's really quiet. Everybody's kind of like doing their own thing. People cycling. Cute installations. Yeah. And I believe that's a restaurant, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, they do have a few food stalls outside of the park. Yeah. Um, so if you're coming here, like it's best to. We are dying of thirst at this point. So it's <laughs> very, very <laughs> it's much. Best to, look at how cute that is. Cuteness overload. Thank you. All right. We have a Pepsi. Not popular. And uh, coconut water. Very much needed electrolytes. Yeah, three, three. Six in total. We're gonna go enjoy with our kampung cake. And we had all these options. Looks delicious. I know. Yeah. If you it guys know like uh, what they are, because we know that's corn. The yellow one. Coconut water. Yeah. Some type of syrup. Not sure, maybe a berry. Yeah, like a berry drink or something. And that may be like a... It looks like the same Chinese preserved uh, in there. Like a lemon and plum or something. Yeah. That might have been good. And then you have your little bite. Snacks. Snacks, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very nice. Let's go enjoy. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I am in heaven. <laughs> I remember playing with these things and you know, like when you kind of them on the stairs and, and it kind of rolls down and it's like a domino I, I just can't figure out the name of what it is yeah I remember when I first came to America this is one of the first toys that I got <laughs> it's, so <cool. laughs> it's so nice that they've just made a whole yeah. art installation in yeah. here it's kids are like so much fun <laughs> oh and the and the book uh, book yeah very nice Ready for kek kukus buah. This is the kampung fruit cake auntie told us, so we're gonna try it today. Nice. I'm, ex snack. I'm excited for it. Since I saw it on Google Maps, I was like, yeah, we, we gotta totally go there. So, yeah. This tastes like the um, fruit cake that we have in Fiji for Christmas. Pretty good. Yeah, same. Yeah. Full of raisins. I actually prefer this because um, I'm not a fruit cake person. Mm -hmm. Neither uh, am I. But this version is pretty good. She said it had um, eggs in it, raisins, maybe palm sugar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today yeah. to explore the religious side Batu Caves and uh, ending our day here at the Manta City Tuwangsa Park. Yeah. Super relaxing mm -hmm. and we hope you enjoyed coming along. Yeah, if you guys like this video, like and subscribe and remember guys wherever you go. Don't forget to wander. All right, we'll catch you guys in the next video.